Hello and welcome to my channel. Here I have a Sony Vario laptop that water leak into it because of uh, uh, unexpected flooding in the flat. I was in holidays and when I came back, the flat was full of water, steamed water and water went everywhere. And after drying out the laptop, I turned it on, but I figured out that the laptop keyboard is misfunctioning. As you can see here, it's typing random keywords, making this beep sound, and finally the keyboard does not function at all. The problem with water spilled on a keyboard, it will make the laptop misbehaving in a random way. For example, when I press the start button, you will see that a random pretty fine key is pressed all the time. So it's really hard to operate on these uh, conditions, such is not, it, you will experience a lot of unexpected behavior. For example, application opening by itself, or uh, mouse uh, change location and hearing this beep noise all the time. Initially, it's a good idea to dry out your laptop before you turn it on, after water spilled on the cube. It's a good idea to leave it for a day or two, you know, to make sure the laptop is completely dry. Now, if you have turned on the laptop and the keyboard still does not work, it's probably a good idea to open the laptop. So, here we show a small demonstration how to have access to the keyboard. We have unscrewed all the related uh, screws via, via a screwdriver, and now I'm gonna show you slowly, slowly how to disassemble all the parts. First, remove the hard drive. Memory card. Battery. This additional piece of paper. Here you will notice that some, let's say, motherboard connecting link cables. In order to remove this, you have to take a flash screwdriver and as I display. So you do this up carefully. as I have done like this, and you remove the cable. The same with this. You do up, and you remove it. Usually, these connectors, they have a strap, so you, you can remove this before you remove the connectors. Therefore, now turn over the laptop and try to open it, remove the top part by slowly, slowly
you might use a screwdriver in order to successfully and slowly slowly you have access to the keyboard So this is what you need. So the problem, if the keyboard does not work, probably you need to replace this so but for, for our demonstration we're gonna just open this and closely check if there's anything wrong with it in general it seems okay it just it seems that it it has absorbed some water so basically I'm gonna it a bit and put it back thank you for watching my video if you find my help useful please like thanks a lot after that you have replaced the keyboard with a new one it's time to put it back make sure that all the connections are put correctly First put the, the mini truck there. Make sure that it gets the right position. After put part, put back the memory. Before, don't forget to connect these connections. A bit tricky because they're very, very thin.
Hadrai Puja Vam. Don't forget to put this one. It might be important for isolation. Heat isolation and the battery. But before put any screwdrivers, I would like to test the laptop if it starts before proceed any further. Just to make sure that I forgot anything. So I will connect the power cable and power on the laptop. The laptop seems working. The keyboard seems to light up. So that's all. I hope you find my video helpful. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.